Hi, this is Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I have here the new Iris from Isotope. It's a new synthesizer. It's perhaps nothing that you've seen before in terms of how it creates its synthesis in the first place. So I'm going to give you a quick overview. I've done a written review of it as well, and I'm uh, going to explain exactly how it works as well in this video and the features that it has. It's standalone, and it's VST audio units and Artaz. And uh, as you can see, I'm just going to click around and you're going to start seeing things and think, what the heck's that all about? Well, I'm going to show you. I'm going to flatten it from the start and show you a new patch in the beginning. So I'm going to load up a sample into my synths here. And here somewhere is some Profit T8 stuff. I'm going to come down to Fat and Wide, C3. So what I've done now is I've loaded in that sample. And this is where it differs from anything else I've used before. Imagine a sampler that has Photoshop built in and you're starting to get somewhere close to what Iris does. Because here, all these tools are very similar to the tools you'd find in the RX processing package that they do for audio fixing and restoration, which allows you, this is a spectrogram. You've normally seen samples in this format before. As you play a sample, it goes across the sample. But this is a spectrogram which shows you the entire waveform. Left to right is time, and top to bottom is frequency. And then you can simply go in and start choosing areas. Like that. and just start to build your own sound. Do a lasso like that. Paintbrush. As you can see straight away, you start getting some wild stuff. And then you can start adding all the other stuff in as well. So we've got ADSR here. Come into the uh, send effects. Turn those on. Anytime we want, we can just go back in and do some more stuff. But you do what you like, get this paintbrush, make it smaller, and simply write this, I don't know, like this. Just write my name and literally use graffiti and just see what happens. The first thing I want to say about Iris is that it's enormously powerful, but it's also enormously fun and also enormously easy to get different sounds. I know a lot of people come to synthesis and uh, that's part of the reason I created my Synth Explain series and think, uh, what are all these different frequencies, all these different things I have to use? Whereas with Iris, you can get a sound up and start messing with it and doing what I'd call audio graffiti. And within seconds uh, or minutes, you can start having some really wild sound you never dreamed of. So that's what Rust sounds like. So as you can see straight away, it's really, really cool. And if I clean that back out again, well, that's it in reverse. Now straight away for sound designers, for movies and stuff, this is going to be a very, very interesting proposition. Let me show you another trick you can do. If we get something like, again, the lasso thing, you can very quickly draw in really lovely sweeps in like this. Let me just draw one in. Can move them around as well. The 
go and get the paintbrush and add a second one in. So let me know in some patches. I've built my own patches recently. I've been a beta tester for uh, some time on this product and so uh, it's been lovely to have input on it. So let me give you an ex example of some of the stuff. So I've created one here called Iris is Born and it's made up of uh, two samples, a string sample, a hybrid sweep sample and uh, that's just two samples and so this is what Iris is Born it sounds like. Uh, The white line you're seeing going across the screen is each note going across what we call the playhead. This area in the center is called the playhead. And when you play a high note, they go faster. So each note's hitting that word at a different time. As I say, this is more than just a gimmick. I'm just doing this just to show you that there's endless possibilities. That's why I wrote that. So we have three parts and a sub. Then we have this whole mix section with different LFOs, uh, effects, and we have a master filter, uh, global LFO, and then you can assign things like macros, and you can do mod routing as well to velocity after touch. Uh, so let me, sh that's a sort of paddy type sound, but I, I think one thing that people are going to think straight away is that this is just for sound designers. But you know, I started to play. This is a C3 sample from a piano, a grand piano. It's a poly six bass uh, uh, sample. It's a string pad from a T8. And that's just, just three things. And I'm gonna play you this. And it's, uh, I was really pleased with this one. I've called this Whirly and you'll see why. It's a beautiful whirly sound. And let me just come into the mix for a window for a second. So we've got this sound. You see the LFO on there? And then the second one we have so this this poly six bass. Which is giving me my woodiness. like the hammers on a, a Rhodes and then this pad sound see what I've done there got this swell coming in there and then at the top I've got this this stuff at the top end Beautiful. Couple more. So we've got something like uh, this one I called Remembering. This is using the sub and it's using a, 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 a really nice LFO on the sub as well to create this really nice kind of soundscape you'd hear in a movie. So. Really beautiful, rich, rich sounds. And that sounds made up of a square wave, two cello samples, and a low sine wave. Let me show you the subsection. I'm just going to clear this out for a second. The subsection is different because of the other three, you can literally bring any sample in and drag and drop it. In the subsection, you just hit the screen, then you have this list of different subs you can bring in. Some nice low signs, squares, some, some white noise as well. And I've just an example. If I show you like a pink noise for a second, and there's a pink noise. Let me show you how quick it is to create a filter sweep in. Uh, Iris, literally just, I'm going to draw on here. Just 
just drawing that to there. So it's just like do, it's just like using Photoshop. It's mad. Can we just add in some mastery effects like reverb? How's that? Straightforward. You make it shorter. It's that quick. Now, I know a load of people uh, who are working in dance music struggle to get filters uh, because it, it requires getting a noise and then it requires getting a, a low pass uh, filter and then putting an automation on it and stuff like that. But literally, you just draw it in. Uh, it really is that simple. Let me just show you a couple more new patches and then we will go on to show you some of the more details. I'm actually going to use this one now. It's called Radius Dirt Group because there's a feature on this called Radius RT. And what Radius RT allows you to do is it creates loops and the loop length doesn't change depending on where you play on the keyboard. It always stays at the same tempo using time stretching technology. So let me play this sound first. So there we have, I've got a beat going, and as you can hear, the beat never changes. It's it's always playing on the same note. And that's because we're using a fixed pitch, but then we're using another trick, as I say, called Radius RT. If I solo this part. Now normally, with the sampler, this was what would happen. Because remember, the loop length would be shorter the further you go up. This is the magic of Iris. Let's just reload that again. Go to another part. Over here we've got another part, sort of didgeridoo style. And as you can hear, there's a, a really great distortion built in which could create some really filthy. So cool for rhythmic stuff as well, this. So that's called Radius Dirt Groove, and I wanted to show you that to show you Radius. Uh, there's a piano. So there we are, that's Iris. As I say, it ships with about four gig of samples and patches, over 500 patches. And uh, I have to say, in a world of derivative stuff, there's a million people trying to make the same compressor, a million people trying to make the same synth or emulations of synths and that kind of stuff. It's really refreshing to have something like this where you create sounds from scratch, you create unique sounds, I think this is an awesome tool for those in sound design. It's a no-brainer. It's even more of a no-brainer because it ships for two forty-nine dollars. I think there's going to be a deal where it's one forty-nine dollars for the first fourteen days. You know what? I'd say sell your bed or sell your dog or whatever you need to sell and buy this because it's an incredible tool. I think it's going to be all over everything. And the exciting thing about it being all over everything, movies and music, is this: you probably won't hear, hear the same sound twice. And how often can you say that about any product of it? in a synthesizer so it's really is right now uh, an editor's choice it's a no-brainer for editor's choice i love it i've been using it ever since i had it i've created a new video training series for it on groove 3 that's my shameless plug iris explained that'll show you how to use this to its full potential uh, as i say editor's choice award even more that unless somebody does something special this year this is probably gonna get my product of the year it's brilliant thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon